So today, in this case, we did a shirt dress. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a crimson red. So it's a red that is like it's bright, but it's not too bright where you feel that you know it's, it's too powerful to wear it to the office. Right. I think it's a, it's a fairly kind of muted, or tone earthy kind of, yeah. Yeah, uh, red. So um, in order to make it like a little bit more sort of elevate the look and make it more like workwear appropriate, mm -hmm. we are closing it down so we're not revealing any sort of cleavage. Yeah. So we added like a really beautiful colorful scarf in front of a triangle and a blazer. I mean you can put the blazer on your sleeve or can you just mm -hmm. put it over the shoulder which adds a bit of a chic kind of factor. Yeah. Um, and I think it's probably add more structure because the right this dress more this dress is fairly flowy flowy yeah, so yeah, adding a blazer true. for sure gives a bit more of a definition yeah, to yeah. to the shape and this this bag which is great for the office because you can get you know your tablet and and the essentials for the day so I think this is you know having dresses to the office we always think about wrap dresses but I think mm -hmm. shirt dresses. Are a good essential kind of piece to to incorporate to work to the office. The base of the look is it's a very kind of traditional sort of um, suiting, but we have played a little bit with the cuts and the shapes and just incorporating the colors now in a kind of head to toe one color, so the palette is consistent but it's more fun. So I like the idea of this kind of like white leg pants because it's just a little bit of a difference between the classic, like classic traditional suit dress pants. And you know, having like a white, just basic button down shirt and adding like a small, like men's suiting inspired vest will really define your waist, but still looking very professional. And um, a blazer, of course, because you know blazers are such a basic for work wear. And the scarf adds a really good texture to the outfit, just to blend it all together nicely. You can play with the length of the scarf, making it like this. It just brings some attention to the front. You can bring two, the same two layers to the front, just to, you know, if you want to reveal a little bit more of your vest. Um, that really adds a little bit more interest to the outfit. Um, we have incorporated like little patterns, but all in the same kind of black and white and, and beigey tones, just to continue with this kind of monochromatic look against adding some print. So I have some gingham glow stove like pumps, and again the same sort of black and white pattern on the tote. So together it just looks so chic and put together like I just want to wear this. Just wear a staying within the black and white, but this is a bit more bold, right? So even though you know you have the same same outfit all same together, outfit. but this totally makes the look a little bit more like rock and roll in a way. I love the idea of having just a few layers without having to wear your winter coat, because it's like you know you can show what you're actually wearing. <laughs> hey. I think it's, it's it's challenging in general. I find that mixing prints usually it's it's you take it takes some courage to actually you know go for it i think a, a safe way to start playing with a pattern mixing is trying to find like a color a consistent palette between the between the prints and that will probably be a good way to start mixing i think in this case uh flat is it's a very delicate flat and the colors are very neutral so it's nothing like too flashy and then the blouse, again, the colors are kind of in the same palette. We have kind of the beiges and the grays. The blouse um, has a bit of an open pattern. So the two of them, they're not overpowering. So in, in a way, they kind of fuse together. So I think one of the rules with pattern mixing is just going for like a color that is present or is it's present in, in both, uh, in both uh, items or garments. And that's kind of where I usually uh, start playing with them. The other way you can play with is like dimensions. They go for a small print and then you can mix it with a larger print. Um, so there's different rules definitely attached to pattern mixing. In this case, I think the look comes together very nicely. And also we have this waistcoat or vest that really defines the silhouette and blend 
the, the, the three outfits, I mean the three um, pieces together. And uh, you had to kind of play around. You had to kind of put them together and see, you know, what seems more pleasant to the eye. For fourth and last look, we can't leave out the casual Friday because it's, it's, it's fun. It's a, the day of the week that you get to do something a little bit more out of the norm. So obviously we did some jeans. In this case, we went for uh, more of a crop look, um, where now you can do some loafers or flats, and then in the winter you can kind of fill that um, ankle with some tall boots. Uh, this beautiful cashmere poncho that still looks very professional and chic put together. You feel that you know you're really appropriate for the office. We have um, some little accessories like bangles, a uh, scarf like tied around your neck, just so it looks a bit. Um, sophisticated and again like a big toe just to carry on on your staff so this is a great casual friday or also a weekend look